Classic death, death match. What the fuck's the difference? Classic death, death match. I guess there's. Oh my god, there's different game modes. Subjective. Destroy all enemies. Be wary of the traps in Black Rock Stadium and be mindful of the constantly changing layout. It's the same fucking thing as the classic mode. So destroy all enemies. Destroy all enemies. Alright. Alright, here we go. Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Go Gaming. I'm Derek and I'm here alone again today. And uh, today we are once again adventuring into the excited... Excited world. The excited world. The exciting world of Twisted Metal. This is the newest game in the series. Classically named just Twisted Metal after its, you know, first game. I was kind of realizing, I guess it was like a reboot of the series in a way. Um, especially with all the character stories being a little bit different. I mean, they were different in every game. I'm going to try to be the relaxed way that I thought I was going to be the last episode and not talk as much and try to focus on the game and really try to build up a good skill set because uh, if I don't <laughs> then uh, it's gonna be a lot of talking and a lot of death so I gotta I gotta try to get better at the game as well so I can kinda get through it as quicker and not rely on my rambling nonsense not to say that I won't talk as much but you'll see me probably get distracted more often and just kind of drift off into nothingness, into an ASMR kind of whisper, and then um, stop making sense with my words. Or maybe I'll get really loud and shouty like a PewDiePie or Markiplier type or Jack Septicoy, or oh, throw an accent there for you. That's a lie. I can't do any accents. That's a lie, actually. I can do a, I can do a mean Sean Connery, but I'm not going to do it because I'll instantly fail and lose your respect forever. All right, so let's see what we got here. This is Black Rock Stadium. Uh, never before seen in any other Twisted Metal, and uh, it's pretty crazy. It's basically a kill stadium built specifically for this contest. All right, so I think I got my strategy pretty well marked out now. And it's, it's a cheap one, but it's for as far as normal mode is considered, like, it's going to work really well because the enemies are not that smart with attacking up close as they are in, like, other modes uh, or other difficulties. So my my main... Uh, whoa, uh, no, no, don't get stuck. Don't get stuck. Get out of there. Oh, God. <laughs> Sorry, that thing, like, raises and lowers, and you can get, like, stuck in there, and you'll be in there for a good, like, two and a half minutes. And I, I was just talking about how I didn't want to... You know, and talk that much. But like, don't leave me alone with them. I'm getting completely ass blasted by something. Um, my strategy is get good health, get a lot of weapons, and then literally just kind of be like right next to them and unload into somebody until they die. And while that sounds cheap, it, like I said, only really works when it's on easy difficulty. And like, um, and like the hard difficulties, they're a lot smarter about running away and not letting you do that kind of shit. <laughs> so, die, motherfucker! You ain't got nothing on me! Get him with some guns, too, while he's here. Ah! That fucking weak ass minigun. There's a way I can make that better, and I think it's like power up. And oh my god, I don't want to get hit by a wrecking ball. I don't want to lose my health to a wrecking ball. That would kind of be not a good way, not a good way to spend my time. All right, so I definitely need health because I'm about to die. Oh, slowly rediscovering one of my most hated things about this game. I say that about a lot of games. I really don't hate games that much. I just, I, I. I try hard, I try, and when games do little things to make it a lot harder to try, it's when it's like, I kind of give up on them. But one of the things I'm just noticing and remembering is, uh, there's moments where you just can't seem to recover or get away in any fashion, and you're just in the middle of a circle jerk, and man, aren't you just loving it, and getting everybody's sweet, thick missile in your face with no possible... Ram muffin, or er, ramification. Oh, ram muffin? What am I saying? 
I gotta kill this guy. He's gonna kill me. Oh, don't kill me. Don't kill me. Go. Uh, oh. Oh, I can't go that way. It's a shock. Uh, oh, I can't go anywhere. Oh, God. Uh, where is their health in this level? There's health in that, like, fucking lava area. But that's really dangerous because... Oh, God. Because, <laughs> yeah, you could just die any second. I mean, who knew that it would be so hard to stay alive in the Kiloseum? Like, what? Who could have predicted? Oh god, leave me alone, Axel. Oh, oh get the driver. Damn it, I missed him. Um, that's a cool little thing I wanted to say at the end of the last episode. Didn't get time to. Uh, one of the cooler improvements in this game, as opposed to the last ones, is there's a little um, thing you can do where if you run over the driver or the co-pilot, which doesn't make sense because none of the... I mean, it does, but at the same time, it, like none of the characters have co-pilots or should have co-pilots uh, i'll get in that later but like if you run over the driver or the co-pilot when they're running away from the flaming car after you kill them um which is brutal enough already and they're already on fire but if you run them over too uh if you run over the driver you get health and if you run over the co-pilot you get like a weapon of some kind another little thing just like that is this thing that launches people from the stands out into the field and then you can run them over and get shit you know, same rules apply, uh, the blue is health and the red is, uh... Damn it. This guy's fucking evasive. God, we must have launched out the football player in, this, in, in the stadium. Oh yeah, you want it? Boom! Eat missile! He's running away. I knew I was gonna get him with that fire all up close. Um, so, I mean, there's lots of ways to get things pretty quickly, and, uh, however, the thing with the, um, the drivers, it, only, it doesn't last as long as these guys running around right now, so it's really just kind of like if you happen to hit them while you're there, but, like, as, if you're going 60 and you speed past that, like, burning corpses, like, and you miss them once, there's no way of going back to get them, they'll just fall over, and you miss your chance. Get the... Oh! That went so fast! That went at least in... Wow. <laughs> okay, see, I, just, I, I was just rusty the first episode. first episode it took me 13 minutes. That time it took me like less... It took me five, I think is what it said. Oh my gosh. But the real test is when I'm going to listen back to all this when I'm editing it later and realize that I just was talking nonsensically the whole time. And then I get no views, and everybody hates me. <laughs> hates me. Um, I don't know why I feel like I need to mention this, but uh, I'll just put it out there that uh, I'm technically, I, like, because I cheated in, I, okay, here's why I feel the need to say this. I cheated in Dead Rising 2. You all saw it. I thought about not putting it up, but you know what? That game is such dicks that I cheated. And I just want to make, I want to say what I'm about to say known, because I don't want you guys to think I'm cheating in this game. I don't think I'm ever going to use the garage vehicles. One, because hopefully on normal mode I'll never be that bad. And B, I hope to keep on using Kamikaze, because as I remember, Kamikaze is one of the first two cars you can use. So it's not like an unlocked car. Um, I think if I really wanted to, Crimson Fury has a stronger flamethrower. It's basically Kamikaze, but better. Like, Roadboat is the better version of, uh, whatever that other one you get at the beginning is. So, but I'm not going... I, I want to use this one to kind of really show that I'm, uh, committed to, uh, doing this right. Uh, not unlike what I did in, uh... Dead Rising 2, but you know, like I said, Dead Rising 2 is all of the dicks ever, you know. Just, it's so, so bad. Oh god. Uh, I should talk about this real quick. There is a, uh, mechanic to this level, this grid that you're seeing here, that, um, you know, because things weren't hard enough, they had to add in other little mechanics to really fuck with you. Um, this grid moves around the city, and you got to stay in the grid uh, to fight. And if you, st if they give you a grace period, as you as you see on the side, and I think it also counts down the uh, 
how long the grid lasts in a certain place, but uh, you gotta move on um, to where the grid moves in a certain amount of time or like you just die or lose health or something. Really, see, like, see what I mean? This, these AI, this AI in the beginning of the game, there's not all that there with it. So now I gotta, I'm gonna have to figure out where this grid's gonna go. Oh god, where it, it's probably where all the other players are gonna go. Oh god. Oh no, oh no, I'm wasting a lot of time. Oh god, where is it, guys? Guys, where is it? Oh, I see it. I mean, it gives you two minutes, and like, it never really takes you that long to get across the map because these cars are ridiculously, like, fast and unnatural. Uh, especially freaking Crimson Fury. Um, well, there's some health over there outside the zone. It's pretty pretty good. So I'm pretty sure the AI of the computers is a program to go outside the zone because they want to, you know, survive. So, uh, I could save that for later or maybe like when the ring disappears. I'll go out and get it before I have to go on the next one. Um, God, I'm completely all over the place with what I'm talking about. I feel like I'm getting like softer and softer, like the ASMR thing I was talking about. ASMR. Which I still have no idea what that stands for. Right, I'm gonna grab this health and figure out where did the ring go. See, it's freaking up here! It's a good thing that you can like, s like see that shit for a while. Because, see, that I can just rip his ass as he's just trying to make it to the ring. Oh, we're on an ice rink. How. How lovely. Oh gosh. It vibrates the controller the entire time I'm on this ice rink, and it's very disconcerting. Oh no, it's just because I was on fire. Okay. See, the thing is, if I had turbo boost, I could sail across this ice rink pretty easily. What? What? How do I get back in? No one? I've never had this happen! This is like outside of the map! Oh, oh god, oh god, no, where am I? This isn't, this, this can't be possible. So what, are, what is going on? I should, oh god, and I think things moved. I don't have enough time for this! <laughs> oh, oh shit. What the fuck is going on? This is a wall too. Okay, they're all moving over here for something. Oh gosh, I just wasted like a good like 30 seconds of freaking time. I wonder if my missiles can even hit him from here. I know there's somebody up there. Warthog. Oh god. That was that was harrowing. Sorry, I kind of went, I just stopped talking there. <laughs> really, never seen that before. Like, you get thrown around all the time in this game, like, by everything. Like, I just get hit by that bus. And you can just go flying. But, uh, I've never gone outside the map. I really thought they had, like, better invisible walls. At least for maps that were really, like, you're not supposed to be going outside the map. But whatever. I'm back. We're, we're here. We're, it's good. I think it's supposed to be New York. I'm uh, pretty sure. <laughs> so, uh, I think I meant to ask this last episode. Uh, uh, you know, comment in the comments if you guys have ever played, uh, Twist Metal before, and let me know what your uh, favorite Twist Metal character was of all time. I know I talked a lot about Sweet Tooth last episode, and I really like him, because he's like the icon of the series. He's really like, supposed to be the mascot. Uh, so much so that, you know, in this new game, they, uh... Oh, I'm gonna get somebody. Freaking get somebody. Oh, I didn't hold it. Fuck. That's like a sniper. Um, you know, but he's, you know, he's a lovable character. He's the Mickey Mouse of the Twisted Metal franchise. Which is kind of weird to say, considering how, uh, you know, just brutal he is. But, he's supposed to be the Mickey Mouse, you know, the most likable guy, so, you know, but is he your favorite character? He's not actually, I don't know, I don't know, is he my favorite character? I've really got to think about this one. Um, actually, no, 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 I, I remember now. My favorite character isn't in this game, that's why I kind of forgot there for a second. My favorite character is Twister, she's in a lot of other games. She's like a race car, and she can, like, become a tornado, and oh my god, no... <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 no, 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 no. Oh, I'm never going to make it back to wherever the frick the zone is now. Uh, I, this is, this is how fast I'm moving on this ice. Please, for the love of God. I need to get to the safe zone. Oh, Christ. I don't, uh, I guess I'm going to find out if it kills you or if it just hurts you. Uh, it just hurts you. Oh, it doesn't even hurt you that much. 
But now it's like I have no grace period, so every time that I gotta move from cage to cage, I'm just gonna get hurt. Which, you know, it, you know, isn't a good thing, obviously. Because it's just gonna happen every time. But, the other good thing is, I think it does that to everybody else. So there's gonna get a point where, like, other people are just gonna start dying on the way to the cage. Because they'll just have low health. And, uh, oh god, fuck. And they'll just, they'll just die. Because they're computers, and at this point they're not smart enough to realize any better. Uh, but my favorite character is Twister. She, uh, turned into a tornado, and I always thought that was cool. She picked up the other cars, and... Um, in the earlier games, I'm pretty sure it was programmed that, uh, her, um, you could still shoot the miniguns at people while they were trapped in your, like, Twister, so it just, like, was a good way to fuck over people, because the Twister hurt them, and then, you know, uh, you could also hurt them while they were in the Twister, or some shit like that, but it was always just fun to pick up people and then throw them, and, like, especially because you could do the bullshit, like, Super Smash Brothers Donkey Kong move, where it's like, you could pick people up, and then purposely, like, take them towards the end of the map, because you could move the twister while it was activated, and then, like, they would be circling, and there was, like, a good chance if you were, like, standing next to the edge of the map, they would just get let off the other end of the map and, like, fall, like, to their deaths. Especially, like, um... There would be some pretty fucked up maps where, like, a lot of it was just, like, cliffs and shit, so twister was just a fucking, I guess, a hack. She was a cheat. <laughs> In all honesty. I guess I love cheaty characters. Oh, I'm out of cage. Oh god. And I'm not doing so well on health. I gotta find out where this cage is. It's not up there. Oh, it's all the way over there. Fuck. This is what I was talking about. It's gonna really start taking a toll every time I've gotta go cage to cage. Oh, except I can this guy. Oh no, and he's gonna go out of the cage, isn't he? Fucking damn it. I think the cage is getting like smaller too. That's not good. Oh, see, that's fucking... See, that's why, like... Dude, just look at that! That's an overpowered character! That is Sweet Tooth, and he's a fucking goddamn Transformer! Like, no other car can do that in this game. That is OP as fuck. Alright, the cage is moved. Where's the cage? I'm just gonna race around and find the cage now. Oh, it's on the map! How did I not realize that it shows up on the map till now? Oh, Jesus, this is a small cage. Oh, God. Alright, and one of you motherfuckers with this. Ah! That's like a swarm missile if you guys haven't realized already, like charge it up and Swarm RC car. No, I should have blown that up first. This guy took forever getting in the cage. You can't tell me he's still got a grace period. Fucking shield. See you know it's mad hacks when like you play a game that Yeah quickly before the cage runs out. It's mad hacks where computers can use the shield uh, cheat code. <laughs> I mean, technically, I guess it's not a cheat code. I think they even tell you about it in the earlier games about how to use it. Let me see what the next level is. I think there it's a boss. A right oh, okay. It's frickin' uh, monologuing. So I'm gonna monologue while it monologues. Um, and that's probably going to be the end of the episode, because I, I don't want to get into the boss battle boss. quite yet. Actually, I think the boss battle is not till the end of the... Because it's, it's... Oh, fuck. I'm sorry. I probably made a loud noise. I hit the microphone in the back of my hand. So I think that... This game's, this game's laid out weird with its, like, story. There are three stories, but it's not like you pick a character. It's each character comes after the other in the story, and they each have their own story, and they, I think, each win their own story. It's really weirdly laid out, especially because there should only be one winner. I don't know. It's strange, and you can't really pick who you start out as, but you play as three characters, and you're not even playing as them. You play as their factions. I don't know if you guys have noticed this clown in the car, but it's not Sweet Tooth, which is another weird thing I'm not even going to get into about this game, but he plays the clowns first, for Sweet Tooth, and then you play as the Dolls for Dollface, and then I think you play as the Reapers. No, no, I think it's the Reapers for Grimm, and then the Dolls for Dollface. But you have to beat all three stories, and like, they're not the same missions on each story either, which is another reason you know it's not like select a character, other than the fact that you can't even select a character. You just play through, you know, Sweet Tooth, and then Sweet Tooth wins. 
and then it just starts over, and then you play as, like, Grim, and then, you know, you just keep going through. Um, through each story, and each story is a different boss at the end, but each boss, I'm pretty sure, is, like, the other person in the stories. Like, uh... Yeah, because the first boss is like the Grim Brothers, and it's like Grim's henchmen, and the second boss is the Dollface, when you're the Grim. It's, it's, it's hard to explain, you guys will see as I'm going along, so it shouldn't be the boss next, because the boss comes at the end of the story. Oh gosh, this is a fucking Rob Zombie, like, directing shit. Which is really weird to say, because like, I'm pretty sure David Jaffe directed this. Who's the director of the game, and, and he has this infamous thing about him where he directed, like, short films for the first ever I Twisted Metal him. game, like, little films for the, you know, end slates of the thing, and they just oh, turned out, like, time. really weird, and then he never directed anything again, I'm pretty sure, like, film-wise, until the ones for this game. I chose so this is pretty good, I had to give it to him came a long way, and I think it was pro partially that the first ones came out so weird that he probably <laughs> took some time to plan out the next time he would do it. Except for, her. Except for those damn scissors. You know, if people just remembered to put away the scissors, this kind of shit wouldn't happen. Oh, God. What if he to pull out his own eye? Is he blind in one eye? So I, gotta, I gotta feel that, you know, the realist in me, the logical person in me, says that nobody should be able to win a driving competition with one eye due to, like, depth perception. If, 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 if it was depth, depth, <laughs> depth perception issues. There's a tongue twister of the day. Oh gosh, I think I've talked too much. I'm starting to get to that cotton mouth level of blah, 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 blah. I know I've been talking too much but it might just be the past couple minutes because I had nothing to do but talk because the game is going through its thing it's monologuing oh god see that wasn't even a stage that was just they literally counted one as the freaking sit through the uh, sit through the movie and you beat a level alright so we got oh we can't even see what the other levels are I'm pretty sure that's Oh, okay, yeah, this is a small boss. This is a juggernaut. Um, I think I'll attack him on the next episode. Because the next three of these, I'm pretty sure they're not even, like, death matches. They're, like, different things. I think it's, like, a... I think it's this juggernaut boss of, like, a uh, race and then, like, another boss. But, so, and then the final story. So I'll try to get through at least two of these on the next episode. But, you know, that's all we have time for today. And that sounded like the worst put together sentence ever. So I'm going to stick to my little card that I've pre written for myself so that everything seems, you know, poignant in every episode. Not poignant, what's the word? Coherent. Uh, well, that's all the time that we have for today. Join us next time as we embark on another adventure. Do you think it might be Twisted Metal? If so, leave a comment in the comments. Blah, 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 blah. Those weren't words, just in case you're wondering. I'm not having a stroke either. Um, but, you know, have a wonderful time until then. And uh, don't forget what I said in the middle of the uh, video there. Uh, you know, leave a comment in the comment section, because that's the only place you can really leave a comment. But uh, leave one, uh, you know, telling me who your favorite Twisted Metal character is, if you've ever played Twisted Metal, um, and explain why. And if you've never played Twisted Metal, uh, just let me know who, who, who's looked interesting so far in this game, you know? Other than Sweet Tooth, you know, OP motherfucker. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll see you next time. Bye!